morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to this beautiful space, this sacred space. <sighs> Whatever it took for you to get here, I want you to just take a nice deep breath in. Honoring that you made it here. <sighs> you made it here. We're going to create some magic today. We're going to open up the space inside of you. Open up the space around you so that success can roll in like golden rivers of wonder, of miracles, and abundance. Ah, <sighs> feels so good. You ready? Let's start. Today, we're going to start with my drum. I'm so excited because my drum is playing this morning. This is my merry drum. This is one of my very favorite drums. But she only plays when she feels like playing. <laughs> and today, she is playing. So I want you to use this sound to wake you up. It's early morning, it might be cold, it's cold here. Let's use this sound to clear off any tired energy, any exhaustion, and let's wake up your vibrational frequency. Let's start today at like at least a 400. 400 is where we tip the scales into being a higher vibrational frequency human. Let's start at 400 today so that today's an amazing day. So breathing in. Breathing out. Follow my breath. This time, hold it. Breathe in. Hold. And out. Hold. Regular breath. One more. drums we clear out all the crap real fast <laughs> and you know what it's kind of what life can feel like sometimes especially when you're an entrepreneur especially when you are running business running family sometimes it can feel like it's just all piling on you and you just can't seem to move through it <sighs> there's one beautiful beautiful piece that can pull down the tower that can make everything fall down in a good way right sometimes all the crap seems to pile 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 and there's one thing that's gonna make it like jenga tower and it's all gonna fall and you don't have to carry all the burden we're gonna do that today i'm so excited so i want you to just rub your heart Breathing in, <sighs> saying hello to the heart. We're going to soften the heart, soften the heart, soften the heart. This is where we're going to be doing a lot of receiving today. A lot of our divine connection is here. <sighs> softening it, softening. And I even like massage the actual pecs. Just like high body, high. And then bringing my awareness to the heart, to the heart. I want you to take your hands. <sighs> Just get a little bit of energy and some fire moving in your hands. We're going to breathe in this beautiful light. And I want you to feel the light. It's a circle around you. It's going to soak in through your cells. And I want you to feel this divine light going in and doing the assignments that we're giving it. We're giving the light assignments. So you're just going to breathe in that light. It's going to clean out your system. You're going to breathe in that light. Wake up all your gifts, your gifts of seeing visions, your gifts of hearing God, your gifts of feeling your angels, your gifts of knowing truth. Wake it up, wake it up. All the way through the divine light. And we're gonna wake up your fire. Why do you do what you do every day? What is that purpose that's deep down like a seed inside of you? Right hand on the heart. Left hand on the front solar plexus, letting everything move through your body. Oh, feels so good. Resting, awakening. I want you to visualize that this powerful divine light is going to touch the walls, the ceilings, the floors in your room. 
cleaning your space completely, activating it to the highest vibrational frequency. We're going to invite your angels to come and sit with you. They're going to come and sit with you and hold this space with you and help you see clearly in and through this divine light. Today, this magical seed, the thing that's going to break the tower of overwhelm, the, the tower of uh, stress, the tower of unfortunate things that show up. What's going to break it? And the magical piece is choice. It is the only thing that you have true control, power, and agency with is your choice. You get to choose how you feel, how you see, and how you handle everything that comes over you. Ah, just really honoring it, honoring it, honoring it. So how are we going to use it today? Because there's this magical thing about choice that the worst thing can happen, but you choose if it's the worst thing. You can choose if it was something that was in your good. One of my favorite quotes from Ben Hardy is he says, don't live like trauma happened to you. Live like the trauma happened for you. What, 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 right? So imagine if that with this powerful, powerful tool that we have of choice, we get to choose how we feel no matter what is happening. We get to choose how we think about what is happening. We get to choose how it is for us. You are the builder of your house. You are the driver of your car. You are the captain of your ship. You're it. You're it. And choice is your magical gift. Choice is a thing. So how are we going to get this into your body? Because I can get it in your mind and I can talk to you about it, but we need it to get infused into your body. Palms up. Let's see what we can hear. <sighs> okay. So I just hear that we get to recode. We get to recode the system inside of you to look for the good. My favorite phrase that I say all the time, especially when things are going awry, is everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. So let's do some recoding into that. Because if that is how you see it, if you see everything working out for you, everything is working out for you, even even the hardest things, even the most impossible struggles. And when you find that everything is working out for you, you find the treasure, you find the gold, you find the pearls. So let's close our eyes from the top of your head. We're gonna pour this golden love throughout your body. And it's gonna start from the crown, then it's gonna move down through the third eye it's going to move into the throat, through the jaw. It's going to move into the heart, the back heart, the front solar plexus, back solar plexus, your navel, your sacral, your root, all the way down your legs and through the soles of your feet. Ah, we're just going to pour some magic through you. And I want you to look at, there's a coding. It's either in your DNA or it's in your cells. And this coding, the coding is not serving you. I don't know exactly what your code is. Maybe your code sounds something like, um, I can't do this anymore. I want out. Nothing good is happening. Everything's falling apart. Everything goes wrong. Um, nothing goes the way I want it to. Like there's like all these, right? Like these are, these are human um, beliefs. There's something inside. Like I don't like people. Um, I can't trust anyone. What are other ones? Let's see. Um, 
I just want to be alone. I want to be by myself. I don't want to have to lean on other people. I have to always do it. I always have to do it by myself. Like these, these, yeah. So I want you to just close your eyes and see if you can hear yours. I'll play you some sound while you listen. I'm sure you heard it because they're very loud and very noisy. Now I want you to close your eyes and picture that code. And maybe there's like eight codes, right? Maybe all of them are like, yeah, all, all of these. You're going to picture them like threads and they're wound tight in your body, specifically around your DNA coding. So most of these things you picked up from your, your, your ancestors, your parents, your grandparents, these are just generational DNA coding within you, and we're gonna unwind your DNA coding right now in a good way. So we're gonna pull the thread around your DNA coding and we're gonna unwind it, unwind it, unwind it all the way down, out through your soles of your feet. It's gonna move into the earth. And I want you to see it, just so beautiful, because I have this red thread, right? So this comes off of my prayer shawl, but I, do, I haven't seen it in a while, so I love that it's here today. So imagine that this red thread is being pulled out of your body. This is a DNA coding of the way that you used to think, the way that you used to believe that no longer is here or serves you. And it's gonna move into the earth and I want you to see that thread move down through the soil until it lands into the center of the earth, which is like lava, magma, hot divine love. And this thread is gonna go in and it's gonna be completely healed and it's gonna be transformed into something new. And we're gonna allow that thread to be put to good use. Like the divine is gonna give it assignments and it's no longer a part of you. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna ask God, we're gonna ask your angels, we're gonna ask the divine team to come and be with you and to recode the DNA coding inside of you. So how we're going to do that is we're going to pour this liquid nectar, honey, agave. <laughs> it's all of the things, this honey, agave, nectar that is um, profound wisdom and love. And it's going to pour through the crown of your head and it's going to start to move and ebb like a swirl through your body, finding the DNA coding, and we're going to recode your system to feel, to know, and to understand the magic that everything is always working out for you. Great things are coming to you always. Everything is always working out for you, and you are always receiving new surprises of wonder, of magic, of abundance. You are the builder of magic. You are the creator of your world. Choice is your superpower. Letting it wrap and ebb and wrap and ebb. Choosing is your paintbrush. Choosing is what helps you paint the painting. Choosing is how you feel. Choosing is how you get results. So painting and ebbing and painting and ebbing it all the way through your body, flowing, recoding, recalibrating your DNA code. You're gonna do three deep breaths in with me. <sighs> Allowing your DNA coding to be recoded. <sighs> One more. And out. <sighs> After this video, you're going to sit and you're going to write three things in your life today that didn't feel right, didn't feel good. You were dreading it. You were not wanting to deal with it. And you're going to choose differently and you're going to write how this thing is working in your best interest. How is this thing in your best interest? How is it working out for you? It's going to be so magical. So I want you to take a deep breath in. We're going to ask your angels that they will come and help you in this new coding. We're going to invite your guides, your spirit team, in and through the divine light to help you put on new glasses today. That everything you see is through these lenses. That you will see everything that 
you will see how everything is working out for you. You will see where you have pure agency and choice and you will see that you hold the magic, that you are the creator of all things in your life. <sighs> everything is always working out for me. I want you to say this with me three times. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. One more. Everything is always working out for me. And we're going to end with the saying that I write every day on my arm. Can you see it? <laughs> Which is, great things always come to me. I learned that from my business partner, Evan Carmichael, and it is a statement that I say every single day. Great things are always coming to me. Open up your heart. Let it move through your body. Oh, the deliciousness of choice. The deliciousness of knowing that you hold the key to your happiness. That you hold the key to creation. That choice is your superpower. Oh, today we'll have the most magical things are coming today. The most miraculous things will be here. And I am so excited for you. Great things are on their way. Everything is working out for you. Have the best day of your life.